In this video, we're going to be finding a missing value, the missing mean in each of these cases. So we have a situation where we have the distribution, we, well, we know the variance, but we don't know the mean. We do have a bit of information about it, though, and we're going to use that information to work backwards to find the mean. Now, we're going to use the tables in this video. Um, so the first thing that we need to recall is that formula. So z equals x minus mu over sigma. We need to keep coming back and reminding ourselves of that formula. OK. So let's draw a diagram. So here's my distribution. The mean is at, th uh, is at mu 1. OK, so I don't know where that is. But I know that the probability of x being less than 31 is 0.8. So to the left of 31 must be 0 0.8. 0.8 is larger than half. So actually, 31 should be somewhere over towards the right in order for this to be 0 0.8. OK? So what I'm going to need to do is um, work out the z value that corresponds with a 0 0.8 probability. So I need to be in table 2, the one on the back, the smaller table. So I need to look up 0 0.8, and that's 0 0.8416. So uh, the inverse norm of 0 0.8 is 0 0.8416. That is my z value. So 0 0.8416 is equal to the x value, which is 31, take away the mean, mu1, divided by the standard deviation sigma. So this, remember, is sigma squared. That's 64. So sigma is the square root of 64, which is 8. And this gives me an equation to solve to find the mean. So we can multiply 0 0.8416 by 8. OK, well, let's do this in two stages, shall we? Multiply up by the 8, and we get 6.7328 is 31 take away mu1. So mu1 is 31 take 6.7328. Add that over to the other side, subtract that to the other side. And so we should get 24.2672. So that is the mean that I was looking for that solves number one, or part A, rather. OK, let's have a look at part B. So y, now we're using y, this is normally distributed with a mean mu2 and a variance of 200. OK, so let's draw a diagram. So there's mu2. So, uh, to the right of 1,500 is an area of 0 0.3. So that means it must be to the right of mu2. So 1,500 must be over here in order for that to be 0 0.3. OK? So, that means that this region must be 0 0.7. So I can look up 0 0.7, so the inverse norm of 0 0.7 from my tables, and that's 0 0.5244. OK. So 0 0.5244 is the z value going into my formula. The x value is the 1500. Take away the mu, the mean, divided by sigma. Now, this, remember, is sigma squared. So sigma squared is 200. So sigma is the square root of 200. So we're going to need to multiply 0 0.5244 by the square root of 200. So 7.4161359210. Is equal to 1500 take away mu2. 
So mu2 must be 1500, take away 7.4161359211. So 1492.583864. So about, well, 1,493 to uh, four significant figures. OK? And so that's how we can find the missing mean in these cases.